Hello, it's me, guys, and possible me, because my name is Tabfree16, and welcome back to another video of me reacting to British children's shows. I incorrectly said in the video when I was reacting to Coronation Street that this was going to be more soap operas. I just misremembered. It's actually more children's shows. This one was, again, uh, made by Rob, who made the Coronation Street, or sent me to Coronation Street thing. Thank you, Rob. Again, again, Rob's YouTube link will be in the description below. Uh, this is a bit longer, I believe, than the last one. You probably already know that by the runtime of the video, but I don't. Um, apparently there's like six shows this time. Um, and there was only four in the last video, I think. I'll have to research to make sh to like triple check and make sure all these shows are British, just so I don't have people angry in my comment section again, like the whole Pingu controversy from the last video. But anyway, I'm excited to see these shows. Let's get right into it. We go ahead and say the dog is Dennis. Okay, this is actual cartoon this time. Animal control? Oh my. First day already. Upstairs, last door on your left. Is that a dog or what is that? Oh, hi. Huh. Brave man. Did good work, lads. He's contaminated. Leave him. It's not worth it. Think about yourselves. Well, they got him out of there. Give him credit. You can't have the Ministry of Defense washing Dennis's socks forever, Mum. Oh, sure he can. But they do such a lovely job. Just like new. Unlike Dennis's feet. Thursday is bath night, and tonight Dennis is going in that bath. Dennis, it's bath time! Oh, that voice. Dennis? Oh, I'm afraid he's hiding again, Dad. <laughs> Don't move, Nasha! Don't even breathe! Every bath night the same. Well, this time, we will find him. How? Wherever Dennis goes, Nasha goes too. True. It's good strategy. Don't Nasha, please, don't crack. Lovely steaming leftovers all There he is. Cracked. And he ate the bull. Dip, Dennis. You don't have to take a bath from a guy with a Hitler mustache. Just get out of there. Legit, that guy's got a Hitler mustache. Anyone see that? Look at this dude's mustache. I wouldn't want to take a bath from him. You shitting me? Get out of there, Dennis. He <laughs> got a ticket. Over the speed limit, without lights, in a built-up area. Do you uh, have a license for this sofa, sir? Oh. All right. Next up, the floating bubble show.
what this is about, I have no clue. Rescue workers, maybe? Blue Peter. Nowadays, if you really want to watch something on the telly, then there's no real problem. You can just stick a tape in and off you go. But you can end up just like Meg and myself, surrounded by stacks of bulky, dusty tapes. Never quite sure what so confused. Them, or quite frankly, where anything is. And of course, the picture and the sound quality of tapes is never as good as it is on my TV. But it won't be long before tapes like these a thing of the past. Yes. Yeah, you'd be right about that, buddy. Around 200 pounds to spare, and you can ditch those dodgy old VHSs and settle down to enjoy a system like this one. Now, it's really simple to use. You just need your remote control. It's like a DVD player, Ed. Oh my God. You want to watch and record all programs. Let's go and find Blue Peter, and then you need to highlight it, and it will record it for you. Now, your only limitation is the hard drive. It does have a hard drive, which works just like your computer, but at the moment, this one has only got 20 hours worth of recording in it. Wow. But the How far we've come, huh? It is the quality and the sound is perfect. But if you do want to keep anything that you have already recorded, then you can do so by downloading it onto a... I used to have one of these, I'm pretty sure. ...a recordable DVD. All in all, DVDs didn't last that long, huh? A very long way from the days Ten years? Of this, which I'm just going to turn on for you now. As it come on, it has indeed. Lovely. Uh, it's one of the first the video recorders designed for home use. This used, as you can see, an open real system, and the results weren't really very good, especially by today's standards. As you can see, when Blue Peter put the brand new gizmo to the test way back in October 1966. There we go. Wow. Well, great, isn't it? Um, How old is this show? Well, my name is Valerie Singleton, and I appear on a program called Blue Peter. Oh, By the early 1970s, color recording. This is a kids show. One I guess. On offer. Now, each it's very informative. Only record 60 minutes, and as well as the expensive machine, the tapes cost a lot too. By 1973, there was still a novelty, as you can tell from this Blue Peter moment when presenter Peter Purvis was showing viewers a deluxe new bus for travelling businessmen. Now, just listen to the way he pronounces video. On this side of the bus here, there is a colour television set, and next to that, there is a videotape recorder. Video. <laughs> <laughs> video. Now, it wasn't until the late 1970s that companies began to seriously market video recorders, and here is an advert. Now, battle. No, nope, it's video now, lady. You gotta deal with it. The Betamax, which looked like the this, Betamax, and the VHS. You want to talk? Which system won? Although the picture and sound quality. Make fun of him of saying for the video, you're calling it the Betamax. Better. Of course, videotapes were nothing new for TV companies. They first came into use in the late 1950s. They were called quads or two inches, and they were huge and very heavy. Oh, I think I'll just pop that down. Now, they cost a fortune too, so they were used quite sparingly and often reused. Now, you can see one reason why on this clip from an early TV show. It has a crackly, scratched looking quality. A poor this is because it was much cheaper to record programs onto film. And if you're thinking that most old TV programs still exist, then think again, because over the years, literally thousands of irreplaceable television treasures were junked or destroyed. Now, this was largely because people just didn't imagine a day when old TV programs might fill whole channels or be issued on tapes and discs. True. All right. What's next? <laughs> Okay, this looks interesting. It's like CGI. Bam right, let's get on with the show because Wiggly Wendy's hoping to propel the glossy girls into an early lead. Good luck to you. Let's start the countdown. Is this like a competition show? So Wiggly Wendy has 30 seconds to knock down as many poles as possible. And it looks like a great start. The speed tactic really paying off for the glossy girls there. As Wendy knocks down loads Wendy's stuck. and loads. And look at that. Look at that design. It's almost like a snowplow. Almost perfectly designed for this game. And we've got a few seconds left now. She's got a bit caught so up So they designed like an, an augmented thing? That's a good score. Take down 29 poles. down. I can tell you now, 29 poles is a good score. Are you happy with that? 
Yeah. A good start? Yeah, okay. yeah it's quite good. Okay, good they enough. think Wiggly okay. Wendy has come up trumps, but let's see whether Trithought can beat that. Start the countdown. Three, two, one. Ready? This is interesting. Well, little old Grog has got 29 to beat in 30 seconds. And off he sort of goes. There's one down. Oh, they did not design him well at all. I thought being small would mean he wouldn't get caught on the poles, but really, you've got to knock poles down if you're going to get caught on them. Oh, there goes a row. Well done, Yeah, they didn't think this, they didn't you think this through very well. Feeling somebody forgot to give him front legs. Now, it's only 11. Yeah. Boys, that wasn't very good. Throughout that you were shouting, "Groggy, you're the man!" But on this occasion, he wasn't, was he? No. Rip. No, it's one word: luck. What? Oh, he thinks it was all luck. Girls, was it luck or was it skill? Skill. You think it was skill? All right. Well, luck. Congratulations! You're one nil in the lead after the first contest. So well played. Come to you. on, dude. You designed a shitty thing. Oh, that's it. Okay. I don't know what the hell was going on, but it was interesting. Never competition show? I'm gonna guess. Oh my lord. Okay, maybe not. Raven. Kanaya. Lua. Are you ready? Okay, maybe so. Then let the challenge begin. Is it a legit competition show or is it like a in swinging balls, scripted you television to knock your competition off show. The tower without falling yourself. Should you fall, then you will lose a precious life. But for every victory, you will receive one gold ring. Don't push it harder than that. Come on. You're just letting it fly. He just felt. He's spinning. Lua, <laughs> Napa. Are you prepared? Then let the challenge begin. Come on, y'all, give some oomph. Oh, Jesus. Rip your balance. Dick and what? Dick and somebody. Getting weird Beekman world vibes from this. Dick and who? Dick and Don? Is that it? Catchy. I think it's Dick and Don. I don't know why that was in there. Ramy Muck Muck. Okay, so this is a never competition show. Right. Don't don't worry, Mr. Record everything. Or is this still Dick and whatever the fuck? Your charts, and we've had a look at the scan. Don't yes, sir. Uh, well, can I just say that uh, I'm a vet, so strictly ah. speaking, I shouldn't actually be here. But I tell you what, the chart looks absolutely lovely. Baby is very very looking lovely. Yeah. It is. Uh, everything's normal. normal. Nothing's normal. Nothing's normal. I am confusion ah. right, on what show I'm watching. I think it's still Dick and whatever the hell. Hey, she's I'm got a bucket. Give him a kiss, mom. Yeah, a baby, mom. They've come to take you. Sure, are, Keisha. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having a baby. Yeah, he's having a baby. Oh. Lovely. Oh. Hey, Al. You'll be pleased to know, mum. Everything's running rather smoothly. <laughs> it's all going well. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Hey, come over here. Yeah, come on, Alan. You're all right with me over here. Everything all right, Mr. Court? Okay. I'm all right. Yeah. Oh shit! You've given birth to a beautiful baby oh, boy! Well, He's covered in cocoa butter! I'm gonna call it Dominic after you, mate. Oh, oh I love you, mate. Thank you. It's the weirdest okay. shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh no! Oh lord! Oh, you've given birth to another beautiful baby boy. 
Love, what are you going to call it? <laughs> Dick Jr. Oh, Dick Jr. Oh, well, that's, that's, really nice. that's a great yeah. name. Oh, you know, I think I think you'll make You're a wonderful song. Oh. <laughs> Take it, Granny. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 shit! Lord! Lord! Oh, You've had quads! Twin! Quads! What are you gonna call them, mate? Uh, Denise and Deirdre. Oh, Denise and Deirdre. Gonna run out of D names eventually here. unusual! Yes. Very unusual! He's burning up! Uh, it's the weirdest up? shit I've ever seen. Oh, Lord, not again! Oh Lord! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, quick, give it here! Oh. Pick it up off the floor! Sev Tuplets! Oh, you giving birth to triplets! Oh. What are you gonna what are you gonna call them? Uh Dido, oh. Dilly, and Derek. Oh, oh. Hey, very oh, nice trio, man. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, Midwife, yeah. is she doing all right? Uh, he seems to be okay. Mom, 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 mom keep him cool. Right. Kill him down for goodness sake, please do something, help yeah. him! Just Just imagine down. pain! Uh, leave this to the professional. I'm so sword. confused. Oh, no! oh, oh shit. This chick's just laughing her ass off in the background. Oh shit! They're everywhere! What the actual fuck? Caught these things are quite normal in childbirth. Yeah. You're going to miss all this on a Saturday morning, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? Huh. We're not back till September. You won't get any more of this on Saturdays when we've got. Given birth to about 50 children. Oh, brilliant! Yeah. Do you know what? You weren't even pregnant yesterday. Do you know what, mate? Yeah. What? After all that, I feel like I need an holiday. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Well, where will we go? Then? Well, you know where we always go every summer. We're not going back there, are we? Yeah. Have you surprised me? Have you done a secret booking? You're not secret. I'm, no, I'm so no, confused. Oh, That's Garbra, I know. Yeah. We're going to Ambagland. We're not. We but you said we were going to. <laughs> that was a big. Uh, have you, you organised yeah. all this for me? Do you not know? No, I have no idea. Oh, we always go to Ambagland. Oh. Number series. Oh no! Oh, no. Quickly find out who the winner of today's show is. It's Amy. Amy, you've just kind of won the last bundle. Yeah, good shit, Amy. You're the winner, sorry Amy, because you've got 1,045. Oh, see you later. Get fucked, Amy. Until September. Oh, there you go. We're going to be back in September. You're going to watch this again. Yeah. Good, good. There we are. Right, we're going to get into the basket now. So who won Toria? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it for that. That was something. It was kind of a mixed bag. I'd say the first and last shows are the ones that really caught my interest. Uh, the, the My Parents Are Aliens and the Dick and Dom show, I think it was, I don't, I think so, were the ones that are most interesting to me. The other ones are alright, but yeah, I'd have to go with the Dick and Dom, hi kitty, what are you doing? I'd have to go with the Dick and Dom show and My Parents Are Aliens, the most interesting ones. But that's another compilation of me uh, reacting to a uh, compilation, never video of me reacting to a compilation of British children's shows. If you guys want to see another one of these, just let me know. Uh, again, thank you to Rob for making this. I appreciate you, dude. Um, and, uh, yep, yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to press the like button. If you didn't like it, it's okay. 
not everybody's like everybody thank you please just like button if you want to but if you don't think i'm a complete bathroom wants to stick around for we'll get going in the future on channel be sure to press subscribe button if you want to see what's going to be posted daily on channel check the link in the description for the blog on press.com if you want to check out my twitch where i stream every single day link that is also in the description as well as my twitter and my patreon if you want to support me that being said my name is taffer 16 this has been me reacting getting the British children shows i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time bye you want to say bye you want to say bye <laughs>